So now we uh, will celebrate a woman who has done a huge amount um, on our behalf, both in politics here at home and also um, on the European stage. Will you give a very warm welcome, please, to Ima Costello, MEP. Some of the areas that I want to touch on is, the, is around the issues around how Europe is actually impacting in women. And one of the issues that I was asked to look at was to look at the issues around violence against women. One in three women across the EU have suffered some kind of gender-based violence. Uh, it's a shocking statistic, but I think every woman here in this room would agree that uh, the European Union, and in particular the Parliament, has prioritised women's issues. And I think women in particular will appreciate the role that the EU has had in advancing uh, women's rights. Uh, but just last week, to give you an example of the work of the European Parliament and what we have been doing, there have been three or four areas that we have addressed in debates last week. The first was on violence against women, where the European Parliament called for the European Commission to develop a roadmap uh, to deal with violence against women. Also last week, the European Parliament debated what was called the Honeyball Report, which was a report on trying to tackle uh, the issue and deal with the issue of prostitution. Then, if you look at the work that the European Parliament has done in relation to trafficking and the trafficking directive, women are disproportionately trafficked. 62% of people trafficked into Europe are, traf are, are trafficked for sexual exploitation. It's a horrendous figure, and we need to be able to deal with that. Again, last week, we discussed the issue around... Um, female genital mutilation and the problems that, uh, that occur there. And while many EU member states are actually dealing and tackling with the issue of FGM, I think that it is very important that we raise the issue, that we emphasise the importance uh, to, the, to, to the countries where this practice is prevalent, that it is not acceptable practice. The, the Oireachtas uh, held hearings on violence against women um, and uh, the, those hearings I think will very much inform uh, forthcoming Irish legislation. I made a submission to that particular uh, Oireachtas committee and uh, I have uh, called for the, them to maybe address some of the European dimension issues to that. We sought for that uh, there would be political support for combating violence against women, children and young people as a specific objective in the Rights and Citizenship Programme. The Victims' Rights Directive I think is something that is going to be hugely important for Irish women and I've called on the Minister for Justice to look for the early transposition of that before the November 2015, um, before the, the November 2015 deadline. So there are various different steps that we are taking at EU level, at domestic level, at global level, uh, and I think that it is important, uh, as I say, that we that we do work together, that uh, we we can combat adversity uh, through collaboration. And as I mentioned at the outset, I think with a room full of uh, the women that I have met today and looking down at it from here, I think that there are, um, there are no obstacles we can't overcome when we're united and when we work together. So I thank you very much for the opportunity to be here.